one of my favorite areas of the book is when you speak about co-creating the solution. And I, I, I think one, it's a mind shift because quite often we can go into negotiations with this sense of it's a zero sum game and there's a winner yeah. and there's a loser. And there's obviously dangers of that mindset. And you, you've, you've mentioned some of them about this lack of getting a, a mutually beneficial agreement and understanding what the other side wants. And it, it's very easy to slip into that versus mindset where mm. we pit ourselves against the other party. Yeah. Um, but you stress that collaboration and problem solving can yield far better outcomes and you, you demonstrate them in the book really well. And there are some personal stories um, uh, that demonstrate that. But could you share some practical strategies or techniques about shifting our mindset from a competitive stance to one that may be more focused on collaboration and problem solving? So I think it's just about realizing that if you take an arm wrestle approach, the haggling, the, the, the me versus them approach, they're my opponent in the negotiation. If you take that approach, what that means is they're going to respond in kind. Yeah. And now they're against you. And all of the energies in that conversation are against each other. It's you against them and them against you. Whereas if you instead see it as collaborative, they're my partner. They're not my opponent. They're my partner. Now, all of the energies are focused on the problem at hand. Mm. How can we solve this problem so that we get our outcomes? And using language like that, so it's we, us, our, etc. And kind of may maybe it could be instead of, you know, that, that, that whole uh, psychogeography thing, you know, instead of sitting opposite each other across the table, we sit alongside each other or sit diagonally uh, across the corner of the table. And you, I mean, one, one thing that you can do is if you're sitting diagonally across the corner of the table, you have a, a sheet of paper in between you yes. that you can point to, and that represents the problem. And then it's now the two of you facing the problem kind of thing, and you can point to the problem. And whenever you're talking about the relationship and solutions, you look at each other, and whenever you... Uh, talk about the problem or things that are bad or whatever, you point to that thing. And it's, you know, it's yeah. psychologically separating yeah. uh, the, the, the two. And so it's, it's things like that. But, and so it's asking, it is asking questions and it is listening. And then it is playing back to them their outcome and showing to them that you really have taken on board what they've said. And then, and that you are, you do, you are going to help them get their outcome. And you are going to help them avoid the thing they're worried about. And if you demonstrate that, if, it's, if you are demonstrably taking their goals and fears into account, mm. then they're going to clock that and they're going to go, oh, okay, I can work with this person. I don't have to be defensive. I don't have to be aggressively defensive. I can work. I can be open with them. I can be collaborative with them. I can help them get their goals too. 